A community garden is trying to bridge the gap between police officers and the communities they serve. An interesting concept. So, Chris, is it working? Well, Shannon, normally you, you wouldn't see police officers walking the beat in a vegetable garden, but you soon might. A Delaware County police chief thinks something as simple as flowers could help connect his cops to the community. This section is shrubs, fruits, flowers. The patch of dirt doesn't look like much now. I'm for sure now that's broccoli. But volunteers say what's growing in this brand new garden in Yadens Community Park. The cucumbers, we have potatoes. Is more than just sprouting plants. These are seeds of hope and healing. A lot of people are angry. They are uh, upset you know, in the world today, and we just need to embrace healing. <laughs> Yaden's police chief came up with the idea of the Love Garden, a place where police officers can come on and off duty to an informal, get your hands dirty kind of way. This was a way to integrate police in the community in developing relationships beyond us responding to a 911 call, stopping you in your car for a traffic violation. Call it organic community policing. Plants may not end systemic failures or mistrust in law enforcement, but it is a start. Police have to be more vocal in what we are doing positively. So it impacts um, the perception that all police are negative. The garden will soon have new fencing, signage, and raised beds for the disabled. Police want more gardens in other parts of the borough. It shows the community that they are no different than we are, that they are people just like we are. They have families, they have concerns. And there's another step to this story, Shana. You know, what happens to all that food that is grown here? Fast forward a few months, once those plants, vegetables, fruits, and yes, flowers are grown, they'll be donated to local food banks and those who tend to this garden. Oh, I sense a follow-up story coming soon. Very cool concept. Thank you, Chris.